Hello everybody, I'm Namrata from Nature Makes Nature Club India. Our organization is based in Kolkata, India and we have been working with butterfly conservation using butterfly gardening for over a decade. Today I'm here to take you along with us on a journey at Eco Park Butterfly Garden. This garden is spread across a three acre area and over the course of five years has recorded more than 100 species of butterflies, most of which complete their life cycle here. Now let's see what makes this garden a heaven for butterflies. The correct plants. Caterpillars generally feed on leaves, while the butterflies feed on flower nectar. Thus, a butterfly garden typically needs two kinds of plants. One is the host plant, which is the food source for the caterpillars. The other one is flowering or nectar plants, which is the food source of most adult butterflies. Additionally, butterflies require shady trees and bushes for their nocturnal sleeping, which is known as roosting. In a butterfly garden, you'll get to see how a butterfly spends its day. Typically, a butterfly will wake up and spend its time by basking and soaking up the sun's energy to get ready for its daily activity. Then they will feed from flower nectar of different flowering plants like lantana, jatropha, Jamaican blue spike, kufia, pentas, as well as some non-flowering sources. Once they have sufficient energy, male and female butterflies will engage in courtship leading to mating. Female butterflies are expert botanists and extremely choosy about their host plant. After mating, they will correctly identify the host plant and would lay eggs on those leaves. Some of the host plants here in India are milkweeds, passion vines, cassia, citrus to name a few. The caterpillar generally hatches from the egg after 3 to 5 days and the hatch caterpillar feeds on leaves of its particular host plant. At Eco Park, we collect some of these caterpillars and keep them in boxes in our laboratory. The boxes are cleaned every day and the caterpillars are provided with fresh host leaves to feed on. The hungry hungry caterpillar spends most of its time feeding on the leaves and grows by almost 20,000 times their initial body mass. The caterpillar will molt five times and it is during this final molt that they will attach themselves to a substratum to pupate upon. During the pupal stage, they do not feed anymore and all the energy and fat reserves they had accumulated during caterpillar stage helps them to undergo metamorphosis and emerge as a butterfly. When the butterfly emerges, it needs some time to stretch and dry its wings completely before it can take its first flight and their whole life cycle will continue again. Hence, butterfly conservation includes conservation of native plants or plants that are well adapted to local biodiversity and serve as host or nectar source for the butterflies commonly seen in your backyard. And by conserving these plant reservoirs with time, we will create a habitat which will attract not only butterflies but other pollinators like bees, beetles as well as several other insect species. And most importantly, you can hear symphony of different birds which will also visit to feed on flower nectar and fruits of your garden. And even butterflies. You will be able to create a food web surrounding your garden, which will gradually upgrade your garden into a conserved habitat. We at Nature Mates sincerely believe in conserving habitats. Butterflies are not only important as pollinators, they are charismatic and beautiful to look at and are mostly harmless and their beauty is appreciated by all. Using butterflies as model species of conservation, we can reach a much broader audience. You can also create a small butterfly garden in your backyard with local host and nectar plants of your region and wait for butterflies to show up. To know more about Indian butterflies, you can visit www.ifoundbutterflies.org. Thank you all for coming along with me on this journey today.